What does the Bible say about aliens and UFOs? Today we are going to have a look at one of these encounters. Checking out the book of Ezekiel, it really does sound like an alien in a spacecraft. A wheel within a wheel, spinning around with eyes going all the way around and a creature with some human quality seemingly controlling it. Everywhere the creature went, the wheels followed. Was this a biblical close encounter of Ezekiel? This needs to be investigated. Are there mysteries in the Bible that you just can't work out or just don't make sense? Join me with Biblical Mythbusters by clicking subscribe as well as that notification bell to investigate them with me. So don't miss out on future videos. The other day I was watching a podcast on YouTube with Joe Rogan. Uh, he, he used to be uh, on Fear Factor and he was interviewing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones who used to have info wars on YouTube till they banned him for hate speech and oh, a number of other things. Now nothing that Alex Jones says can ever be thought of as fact. Now Alex Jones stated in passing that aliens are in the Bible, did you know that? Joe's response that got me, total matter of fact, he just replied with, oh yeah, I know that. I wasn't sure if it was just going along with Alex. It seemed like it was just an accepted thing. With me checking the unlimited source of accuracy and nothing that can be ever be wrong, the internet, uh, people seem to say without question that there are aliens in the Bible. There is even talk that these ancient aliens have interacted or even interfered with our past. Now one of these commonly spoken about as proof of aliens in the Bible is in the book of Ezekiel. Now, in Ezekiel, he describes a vision, a cloud, a flashing lightning, and surrounded by a brilliant light. It had fire that shone like glowing metal. There was a wheel within a wheel, spinning around with eyes just going all around it. Ezekiel also describes creatures inside being like four creatures. Each had a human face, bull, eagle, and a lion's face. They all had wings. This wheel within a wheel followed them everywhere. Now, if that doesn't sound like the beginning of Independence Day, I don't know what quite does. It sounds like a flying saucer, if I ever did hear one, with some form of alien inside, lights flashing and fire burning, and even sounds of a UFO engine that flashes as it moves. But I guess what looks like a UFO, feels like a UFO, sounds like a UFO, and probably even smells like a UFO, does that mean it is a UFO? Let's get a bit of background, because everything needs context. Context, context, context. Israel at the time of Ezekiel was not doing what God had set them out to do or be. God had put Israel to be a nation above all other nations, but this wasn't happening. Babylonian kings watching them came in and took over. Ezekiel was being trained to be a priest his whole life and was to start his ministry when he reached 30. When Ezekiel was about 25, he was in this group of thousands that were exiled. Five years later, when he was 30 and he had a vision, this vision was God telling Ezekiel that he wasn't happy with Israel, that they were following other gods and not following him. God gave Ezekiel the vision that we see in this book. The creatures represent the four main tribes of Israel that oversee the 12 tribes. Each of these groups had a symbol or a flag that they flew. They were, there was the lion, which was the tribe of Judah. There was a man, uh, which was the tribe of Reuben. There was the bull, which was the tribe of Ephraim. And the eagle was the tribe for Dan. Now, I don't know if you're seeing the connection here. These creatures of Ezekiel are made up of four. Lion, man, bull, and eagle. So basically, Ezekiel was saying that these creatures represented each main tribe of Israel. Surrounding Israel at the time were nations, first of all, closely next to Israel. The, this vision of a wheel is representing the nation surrounding Israel and the outer wheel surrounding the next level of countries around that first wheel. Surrounding Israel, watching their every move. Whatever Israel did, they do. If Israel followed God, then these, these nations would have also followed God. But that's not what happened. Israel lost its way and the nations around 
Well, they lost their way as well. The wheels followed the creatures wherever they moved, just like the nations. Eventually, Babylon took over Israel and exiled and sent out Israelites all over the place in Babylon. This vision of Ezekiel was God's way of telling Israel through Ezekiel that they were doing wrong and with further visions from God through the book of Ezekiel to coming back to God's way. So the myth that this vision are aliens from another planet interfering with past is busted. Now, don't forget more videos on my channel um, and please subscribe to answer more questions just like this. Catch you in the next one.